We're here at the start of the fourth round, and it's going to be the Plowman first. So I'll refresh his items. Let me move this straightened scythe back to his hand. Make sure his hand limit is correct. He can have seven, and he has seven cards. Currently we have three blue rumor cards, two green, and two red. So we have enough, but we have two rumors yet to reveal that we need to get to quickly, get them resolved so we can try and, and win the game. Our wind speed is only three right now, and that will affect everybody except the healer who is in a bulldozer. The plowman is in a situation where he's not going to really benefit us much this round. He's far away from all the rumor tokens. The wind is only three, and the directions that it's strong in are not going to benefit us to where we could get to those in one movement because he's still working on wind power. I don't have enough items to attack and take out this truck that's next to me. So I have to think about what's the most beneficial location for him to end up. Since we have two more rumors to go, we don't know where the blue is going to end up. We're going to try and keep it somewhere in this middle area. We don't want it to go out to the fringe to where we have to move very far. I can't move much to the east because of the wind direction and, and strength. But what I will do is I'll move one, two, to the west to get in between both of these. Let me exhaust the sail. I'm going to use a crew member and his straightened scythe to do two regular damage. Exhaust that to the speedster that has no armor. So that'll take that out and reward me with one Raider card. And it's a large water jug. And then I'm going to discard my little water skin there. Refresh my crew member and the scythe and use it again to attack the pickup truck for two damage, but it has one armor and two crew members. So it's only going to take one damage, which will place it on its side. And once again, I'm going to use my other water to refresh that crew and the straightened scythe and attack again. And again, doing an additional damage, and that'll take out the other crew member that's left behind. And I'm doing that to protect the little girl. Even though she has weapons, I just don't want any combat on her right now. Because she looks like she only has one healing item. We don't want that to become an issue. For taking out the pickup, I will gain another raider item. It's going to be body armor. And I also get one... Mirage card, which is a helmet, more armor. I also would gain a speedster card and a pickup truck card. So I'll have to go through the discard pile to find the first speedster. There it is. I'm not going to take it. And then we have the pickup truck here. And now I'm not sure if I want to keep this or not, because it only moves three. I don't have any fuel, but it gives me a larger carrying capacity. But then I would lose my armor that's on that armored sail, so no, I'm not going to keep it. I'll discard it also. And finally, before I end my turn, I'm right next to the little girl. I'm in an adjacent space to her. So I'm going to transfer one body armor and one helmet to her hand. And 
I'll keep one body armor for me and the water because she does have a water of her own. It's one of the smaller ones, but she has one. And that'll take my hand down to five plus the scythe is six, and my hand limit is seven for the plowman. The addition of those two armor cards for the little girl takes her hand up to 10, but that's fine because currently her hand limit is 13, thanks to that larger sale that she has. And now we have to choose. All the raiders are available to choose. The least number out there are the truck. But there's one here, and it can get to the scout. This one cannot reach anybody. And then next we have speedsters. There's three of them out there. Where are they located? Okay, there's one right here. And it can't go over sand, so it can't reach anybody. That one is too far away to reach anybody, but this one here could and would reach the healer. And the healer has no armor. But she does have two additional crew members at the same time, so she's able to absorb a wound. The bulldozer would reach the scout. Yeah, the bulldozer would do the most right now because it's within range of several people. Several of them are. That one could reach there. This one could reach here. That's, yeah, the bulldozer is not a good option right now. And the pickup. Well, these two are far away. That one that one could reach the little girl. And then there's one right here that could reach the healer. Okay, so we're going to either go with the truck or the speedster. And I'm going to choose... I'll go with the, the truck for now. Draw the card. And it's going to do two regular damage. That is not good. So this truck will move two, but this one can now reach and do two regular damage to the scout. Okay, well we're not in such bad shape after all. He has one armor, so that will take care of one of those damage. And luckily we have several healing items, which also kind of works because it'll put a first aid into the discard pile that the healer can grab now. So that wasn't so bad after all. But we're going to spawn them on A and C. And we have 1A. That's an M, H, H. That's it. Just that one spot right next to the little girl and the plowman. That finishes up the plowman's turn, taking us to the little girl, who's right here behind him. And our wind speed is three, but she is light, so she gets an additional, so four. And I can reach that rumor token, perfect. So one movement, and then two, three, and four. Great. I didn't know if I'd be able to get there or not. I'll leave the token on there. I forgot to refresh, but she just used her land sale anyway. And we'll use a crew member to pick up the rumor token. And take our next to the last card. We don't have a choice with blue. It's going to move north either way, so it's going to move up to here. Hopefully we can grab on the next one something that will maybe either bring it right back down or at least to one of these. Well, no, I don't want to go over there. That's far away. One of these two here would be best. And then we have northwest and northeast for green and red. Northwest, then this would stay so we wouldn't expose any new ones. 
or the opposite, northeast and northwest. This one would go here, that one would stay there. Let's do that. We'll do this top one here. So blue will move on us again to the north. Green will move to the northwest and red cannot move off the board so it stays where it's at. And since she has a large carrying capacity, I'll exhaust and get three more Mirage cards. Got the big knife or machete, fuel, drum, that's not going to help her, and a crossbow. This will take up space on her player board if we keep it. She's not going to use motorized transport, which would give her a, a passive plus one. We're just going to discard this right away. We do not need that. And let's see what she has here. I think I got two crossbows. And she's loaded up now. One, two, three. Twelve cards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, she's still at 13, so she can hold on to all of these. She's got armor, she's got the ability to heal. Lots of attack. Oh, I forgot about the AK-47, so we're okay there. No problems at all for the little girl's equipment. Now I have to decide who I want to move. The healer is going to be in the worst situation because if I activate the bulldozers, two of them are going to reach her. If I activate the truck, one will reach her. Speedsters, one. I'm going to activate the trucks. The pickups, I mean, not the trucks. Let me grab the card from the pickups. And it's worst case scenario. It is armor piercing. That is going to hurt. This truck is going to go right here to the little girl and do one armor piercing damage. Which we don't have to worry about because she has a healing item that she can discard. So that one damage is taken care of. We have two trucks down here. They cannot go over sand, so he's not the closest the plowman would be. And they can move three. And then this one would move three also. And then we have this one down here. Cannot go across these dunes. There's only three away from the healer. And we'll do one armor piercing. She has nothing to stop it right now, except for if we get rid of her bag of her herbs, or she would lose a crew member. And I will hold on to the bag and have her lose a crew member. She still has, she was the only one that had two crew members, so she still has a crew member with her. That'll take us to the healer. And I need to get this rumor token. She can only move three. Let me refresh her vehicle. She can only move three with the bulldozer, but she can go over any terrain, and she does have a gas can with her. So we can reach it, but where do we want to be? Because this bulldozer can move three on its turn. So I'm going to move her over here to the that H spawn point. So first we will discard the fuel to give me three additional movement. One, two, three, four, five. Exhaust her vehicle. Let me move this to the side so we can just see 
Then we will exhaust the crew member to pick up our rumor token. And this will be the last one we need because this will give us our final card. And here are our options. We're worried about blue. We can either move it northwest, which would be further away, or northeast, which is further away. That's not good. That is bad, real bad. Green right here would move to the north no matter what. And red is either gonna move nowhere. Red's going to stay right where it is because it can't move up to the top. So do I want to move the blue to a new tile or do I want to move it over there? What is closest? Well there, of course the healer is already there, but the plowman is way over here. But as long as the wind doesn't change too bad, we can probably get there in a couple of rounds. Because we've seen both the ones already, and I think there's only two of them. So we're going to start seeing twos now. So he should get to move along pretty quick. And that would be easier than winding his way through this canyon like I had to with the little girl here. But she's in trouble too because depending on which way the wind is going, if it stays where it is now, she can't exit down south. She's, she's going to have to go up north, so I have to. Okay, I'm going to go that direction. So I will use this top one and go northwest, north, and northeast. So the blue is going to move on to the new tile. The green will go up to the north, and the red is going to stay where it is because it cannot go northeast. Here's our new tile. It's got an A and an M spawn point and I'm going to start with the resource tokens starting here and working my way down. We have a red card which may be necessary. Maybe we can grab that red one if we need to get rid of something else. And then some more Mirage cards and one final one. Same thing again, more items. And this made things complicated because now the only way through is that narrow passage and depending on the wind that may not be negotiable for her. But we have another option. I could attack and take out this raider on her turn, take his vehicle, and then, because it can go over st rock and salt lands and just move right onto that tile. So there's, there's more options. We're not completely out yet. But we have to choose now because I don't have anything left that I'm going to do with. Oh, wait. Yes, I do have something left that I'm going to do with the healer. Let me zoom back out. For the healer, I will use her bag of herbs. It's a crew action, so she'll use it to go through the discard pile. Let me place that on her, exhaust her, grab the discard pile, and then the first item with the healing symbol, she can take it into her hand. That will help protect her. Although maybe it would be a good thing if she got eliminated because then I could put her like right here and then move up there. But I want to try and win without losing people. I already lost the scout once and I need to get him over to the northwest also. But I think for the most part we're in pretty good shape because we still are in turn four. So we haven't even got into five and six yet. I think we can make it. Also, if the wind doesn't cooperate with us, remember the healer once during her turn can resolve a new weather card. My choice is between the speedsters and the bulldozers to activate for... 
Yeah. None of those options are good because she's going to get either attacked by two speedsters or none. Uh, I'll wait to activate the speedsters because they're all one, two, three of them are over here. So on the scout's turn, if I move him away, or if I move him in this direction, maybe I can draw that one over so she doesn't get attacked by two. So we'll go with the... We got four bulldozers out there. This one will reach the scout. That one can move either direction, but it won't reach anybody. This one will reach the little girl, which is fine. She's got plenty of armor. Does she have any healing items? No. That's bad, because if it's armor piercing. This one's going to reach the scout. And he has healing items, so he's okay. So we'll go with the bulldozer. And it's not armor piercing. It's one regular damage. So the bulldozer here will move to do one regular damage to the scout which we don't have to worry about because he has an armored sail which will absorb that one regular. This bulldozer is four away from both. It can only move three and it's our choice so I'm gonna move it that direction away from where we want to go. This bulldozer is four away from the scout and more than that from him. So it'll move three towards the scout. And then this one is closest to the little girl. It's going to move three to her. Do one regular damage. And I'll have her discard the helmet. And that takes care of the damage from that. The scout will now get his turn and we need to get him away from the eastern part of the board and start moving towards the west. So I would move one, two, three, and that puts me right next to that pickup truck. I have a crew member well, the pickup truck has one armor and two crew. So could I take it out? Yes. Because since the scout is crazy, he has two axes. He'll exhaust one crew member with an axe to do one damage because the armor blocks the first one. And then we'll put the other axe on the scout himself, exhaust him, and take that truck out. That gives me a Raider card and a shotgun. Nice. A good solid three damage. They can take out everything except the truck with one shot. And I also get a Mirage card and another axe. So apparently he's got some kind of weird Axe fascination. Maybe he always wanted to be a fireman. Or maybe he was a fireman before the uh, apocalypse. Who knows? And the pickup truck itself. There are none left there. There's the first one. Now, do I want to take that or not? Gives me more carrying capacity and can move three, but he doesn't have his special ability that allows him to. And then I would lose his armor that he currently has. But I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Well, yeah, it will be because when I activate the speedsters right now, this one's going to come down here. But he does have two healing items available. And then this would eliminate the worry about wind. 
and I could make it in the two turns left to get to that tile. If wind is a problem I might not be able to make it, but do I want to lose the armor at the same time? I need to make a choice. I'm going to take it and get rid of his armored sail because I don't want to chance the wind keeping me from getting to the final tile that we need to get to where the blue rumor token is. And then he's going to activate the last raider which is a speedster and they're only doing regular damage so that's good. And I think I forgot to spawn bulldozers prior to this though. Yes, I don't remember spawning the bulldozers, so let me do that now. They were a C and an H. The C is the only thing that's going to apply for us. We have one C, two, three, but we only have two bulldozer minis left. And the rules state that you are to put them on the tiles that have no raiders first. This C has plenty of raiders on it, so that makes the selection easy for us. So there's going to be a bulldozer on that C, and right in our way, on our way over. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Now let's get back to moving these speedsters like we were supposed to be doing. And we have one up here, and that's going to do one regular damage to the healer. This time she's ready for it. She has something to not lose her other crew member. Then we have one here that's three away from both. And I will have it go here to the scout. Do one damage. He doesn't have armor, but he does have a first aid kit that he can get rid of. This one down here is six away. Too far. So it's going to move this direction towards the scout. And then that's it. There's only three out there because there's three over here in the supply. And they will spawn at B and H. H doesn't apply, but we have one, two, three, four Bs and three minis. There's a raider, raider, raider. So there's a raider on all of them. And what that means is I get to choose where they go. And I'm definitely going to choose all three of them to go on the ones that are farthest from the tile we're trying to get to. The plowman gets to go now and I need to start moving towards that tile. The wind is in a good place right now for that so we'll move one, two, three. And I'll put us right next to that bulldozer which is where I want to be also because he has Oh no, he doesn't have any. Oh yeah, he does. I forgot to... For a second I thought he didn't have a weapon, but he has a straightened scythe. I'm going to exhaust the scythe and the crew member to do two, two regular damage to the bulldozer. Oh, let me fix that focus. Let me pick up the bulldozer card to do so. Because it only has the one armor and the one crew member. And that will take it out. Oh, might pick it up there. Put it back in the supply. I can get one raider card, which will be the last one. And it is a pick, which does one armor piercing damage. We'll add that to his hand. And that makes the bulldozer available. And I'm going to take it. I know it loses one of his armor, but it can go over all terrain 
and he's close to the final tile. So he can just roll right up there in the two turns that are going to be remaining. And this armored sail will go in the discard pile. All the raiders have had their turn, which means we will change the weather, move that up, and we're going back to a two, and we're going to turn the wind one to the right. And it's back to where it started the game, and that's a beneficial wind speed, I believe. The little girl's on sail power, so that worked out perfect. That'll get her right to where we need to be. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to click on the links and consider supporting this channel through Patreon. If monthly commitment is not your thing, the link to my GoFundMe page for equipment upgrades is in the video description below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and check out the other videos on the channel. Your support is appreciated, and I'll see you in my next video.